Welcome back everybody to part two of the Humble Merchant Guide. Uh, I got tons of fantastic feedback from uh, Steel Blue Vision and wanted to thank him specifically for uh, all the commentary and feedback. I, I think he and I have a difference of opinion on one thing which I'll get to shortly, but the rest of his feedback I think was really valuable. Actually all of it is, I just disagree with one piece of it. Uh, and I'll get to that. <clears throat> uh, so very first thing here, um, let's get the ship moving and head towards the gate down here. Um, I've adjusted the uh, gamma, I've boosted it to 150, so things are going to look a little brighter and hopefully folks will be able to actually see what's going on here a bit better. Um, so the game is going to look different, but hopefully you'll be able to see things a bit more vibrantly and if there are any still Eh, any still. I good grammar too. If there are any visual problems, uh, let me know uh, in the comments, of course, and uh, I'll do what I can to fix them. Okay, so the uh, the first thing I want to address in the uh, uh, from the first episode here uh, I, that ran a bit too long for my tastes, and I think I'm going to cut these down to about half an hour now. Um, part of that is this audio synchronization thing, which I hopefully have fixed. But just in case I don't, I'm going to lag a little bit behind my inputs here as I talk, so things might move a little slower this time. Uh, the other is uh, a very good point was brought up that I ventured a really long way away from Argon territory. And that's generally not something you want to do too much at the beginning of the game. Um, here's the map of the universe. We're in the vault right now. And for some reason, for whatever reason, the game designers decided to make Shareholders Fortune and Family We have a nice big gap in between them. So if you see here, we're going to go from the vault back to Argon Prime. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve systems away. So that's uh, quite a bit of travel that was potentially unnecessary. Uh, and this kind of goes into that one bit of uh, <clears throat> uh, strategy that I think uh, he and I differ on a little bit. Uh, that, that comment was specifically uh, upgrading the ship so early, um, as far as engine tunings and rudder optimizations. It does limit your money a little bit when you do it that way. <clears throat> but I have to say, it drives me nuts to be in a ship that's moving slower than it can be. I tend to view the engine tunings and rudder optimization stuff to be just mandatory upgrades for a ship. Um, we're going to travel back to Argon Space in this episode, by the way. And I'm going to look, uh, be on the lookout for, like he pointed out, there's a few commodities that we can pick up and make some good money on. We don't have to just focus on energy. Uh... So anyway, we're going to head back to Argon Space, and on the way we'll uh, we'll be on the lookout for uh, goodbyes here and there. <clears throat> there is another upgrade that I'm going to drift towards, and that's going to break another of uh, Steel Blue Vision's suggested rules a little bit. Uh, and that's going to have me venturing into Paranid territory, <clears throat> which uh, might be a bit irritating or confusing to new, <clears throat> to new players. Hopefully not. There's just... Uh, uh, I discovered that you can get a docking computer there, and that's a bit closer than Legends Home, which I think is the other place that sells that. A docking computer makes the trading business a lot faster. There's just no getting around it uh, that it's very helpful to have. Gate, family, we. Where is that gate? I don't know why I'm having such a hell of a time finding that stupid thing. There it is. That's why. It's behind that right against that planet, so I couldn't see it. Right. Let's give a quick look around. Oil refinery, El Beta. I'll probably leave the Talati wares alone. We'll just head back to regular Argon territory. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, I think that upgrading a ship as early as possible makes a lot of the start game strategy uh, easier, and you spend less time overall um, flying around and wasting time in the cockpit. <clears throat> Instead, you can just target a station, hit Shift-D, and if you're within five kilometers, boom, you're parked. Um, with rudder optimizations at max, your ship steers as best as it can. 
which isn't as huge a deal with a docking computer, but it still makes a difference when you're just getting out of a station or you're trying to, um, you know, beat another vendor to a, to a station before they outsell you or whatever. And engine tunings just make a literal difference in how long you spend getting from one station to the next, and that really makes a huge difference uh, when it comes to merchant activities. Now, on missions, I have to agree completely. Uh, uh, it was premature to start any missions early on in the game like I did, and we saw what happens. You end up losing the mission pretty quickly because you simply don't have the equipment you need. Family you don't have the gear you want, and it, you just can't finish missions early, or game quickly enough. So, let's see what we've got in the cargo hold. Oh, those damn foodstuffs. I don't know that anybody's going to ever buy those. I'll hang on to them for now, but we're probably going to jettison those soon enough. Let's see if any of these uh, solar power plants have good energy prices, and if they do, we'll pick some up. Yeah, why not? Docking granted. Autopilot activated. It's a stop along the way on our way back anyway. So we'll swing by, load up our hold with as much energy as we can hold. I did not intend for that to rhyme, but it did. Sorry. <laughs> it is easier to see the solar power plants now against the dark background, so hopefully that's taking care of that concern. Um, like I said, if it still looks funky, let me know, and I can crank that gamma up even more. <clears throat> so part two here is actually going to consist largely of just getting back to Argon territory. And along the way, we'll look for places that are in need of energy and sell uh, our energy cells here for a quick buck. Successfully docked. All hail the family Runcar. The split dynasty and a connection to local trading network established. Right. You are being promoted. Huzzah! Better to be a traitor than a traitor. Yeah. I think I'm going the wrong direction. I am. Watch me suck. Okay, let's fly that way. Okay, do you need juice? Well, kinda. How about you? Not so much. Where's that guy? Nah, he's too far out of the way. Let's just carry on. Uh-oh. Hey, autopilot, try not to kill us. Wow, look at that. Autopilot actually did the right thing. Nice close flyby of that solar plant, too. I have to say, the models for some of these stations are just absolutely gorgeous. Egosoft did a fantastic job making this game look good. All right, so next on our trip is to Lottie Gain. Lots of traffic in this system, and almost all of it is faster than me. I guess you can tell that uh, part of the reason I do these missions early on, even though I probably shouldn't, is I'm a touch on the impatient side, and that's not the best char character quality to have as an X3 player. Come on, little pilot, quit screwing around. That's part of the reason why you don't let autopilot fly through gates. I wanted to show that off before I just stopped doing it for good. Entering system, Pelotti Autopilot. Yeah, forget Autopilot. It'll even take control and start doing stupid things as you leave a gate. Drone production facility, Alpha. Oh, he is full up. All right, so lots of places to sell here. But let's see if anybody needs anything. 16 energy, or credits per energy cell. He's buying for 18. Let's head over that way. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. All right, cool. Guess we're heading for this dream farm. Dream farm. M Alpha. Offload our energy cells, get a bit of profit here, and then continue our journey. We're going to head back into Argon space. <clears throat> the next upgrade that I want to find for this ship is a jump drive to at least 
make transitions between systems faster. Going to avoid missions for now, just uh, to keep things interesting. We'll stick to the trade stuff. Um, now, uh, Steel Blue Vision did suggest trading on stuff other than energy, which, of course, he's completely right. Uh, ore is another good seller, a good uh, commodity. And, of course, uh, Meat Steak Kahunas, I think they're called. And that's an Argon thing, so we'll take we'll start uh, doing that here so shortly too. A lot of stations use those. I think you, uh, I guess it's to feed the staff. I guess humans can't exist on energy cells alone. Now here's hoping somebody didn't just supply this guy. Successfully done. Oh yeah. Half of Chairman CEO Boom. And a connection to Lots local of money. Trading network established. Well, money anyway. Alright, so we've got enough credits in the bank now that we can at least uh, fill up our hold with energy cells. That's the east gate. That's where we want to go. Wait. No, it's not. Wow. Okay. If we're ever lost in the woods together, don't let me navigate unless I've got a damn GPS with me, please. <laughs> All right, next stop. We're going to keep going west until we get into uh, Boron territory again. We're just going to head back through Kingdom End, and uh, we're going to keep heading south and continue exploring the rest of Argon territory, because there's plenty of cool stuff around there. Gate Menelaus's Frontier Teladianium Foundry L Beta Gate Menelaus's Frontier Curious what that mission there is, but there's that mission trigger finger again. Now once your ship is equipped with a jump drive, a docking computer, a triplex scanner, uh even cargo bay life support and a good supply of energy cells, it does pay off to do some of these missions, especially the freight missions. You are talking to you. Thank you for your call. I shall transmit the data to you now. You may find things somewhat tricky. Have I provided something? Now, they call this a very hard mission with good reason. The reward's really nice, but they've only giving you they're only giving you ten minutes. Which basically means you have to have a jump drive. And you've got to have a fast ship and a fast, you know, a docking computer and that whole mess. You can do these missions, but uh, we cannot. We don't have the equipment or the money. Sucks to be us. Here we are on the universe map again. Just a few more jumps left before we're back in Argon space. Frontier. Man, that gets far away. Gate Queen's Space. What have we got in this system? Hmm. I don't think these sell stuff to each other very effectively, so we can skip that. Let's just fly on through. You get used to flying through these systems in a Kestrel, 
which can go 600 meters per second, and then a Mercury feels really slow. Uh-oh. Feline priority interrupt. What? What is it? What you doing? I don't think you're very good at X3, I'm sorry. I have to give him some attention. He was being really nice about asking for it. Sorry, cat. That's all you get for now. Oh, I'm really glad he went through the gate just now. Otherwise, that ship would have probably been a collision for me. Entering system, Queen's Space. Gate, Rolks, Drift. All right, just a couple more systems, and we'll be back in Argon space. Solar power plant, M Alpha. No. <laughs> Persistent little devil sometimes. What we're seeing here is just one of the many reasons why jump drives are so bloody useful. Hey, who just did a flyby? Don't know what camera mode actually does here. Let's make this a little interesting. At least change the scenery a little bit. Oh, I can't believe it stops CETA when you adjust the camera. That's so irritating. Kaboom! Wow, that looked like a... Uh, well, that was a near miss, but it looked really bad. <laughs> foggy sector and I think we're back in Kingdom's End. Entering system, Rolks oh, Drift. nope, that was it. Okay, cool. Where's that gate? There it is. Really hard to see when a planet is behind it. Gate, Kingdom End. Mission! Want to do a mission? We just don't have the cool equipment we need to do any of them. What do you got? You are talking. Helen, we are pleased that you contacted us. Please review what we need. Would you like to have this job? I would like to have this job, but I can't do it. Computer plant Alpha. You are talking. How am I serendipitous? I shall send the information to you now. This yeah, will that's be anything stupid. but easy. Wait a minute, are there solar plants in this system? No. That's why it's hard. Okay. <clears throat> Forget that. Damn it. All right. One more.
more jump and we're out of Boron territory. Back in Argon land. That sounds like a really lame Entrance theme park, system. doesn't it? Kingdom end. All right, back home. Let's look for some trades. One thing that I appreciate about the uh, X3 games, at least I know that in X Rebirth, they're, the whole point of the game is the is the converse of this, but I appreciate that the jump gates never fail and the jump drives never misfire and deliver you to the wrong place, at least that I've ever seen. <clears throat> and I guess in X Rebirth, the whole plot of the game is the whole jump uh, jump gate network fails which is a bit of a pisser, but uh, sets up an entirely new universe, and which is awesome. Can't wait for that game to come out. That's looking really exciting. You are talking. Apparently, we have a task that would I shall send the information to you now. Is there something here of interest? I should be able to do this mission now. I know uh, this is going to make some people twitch, but if I dock first. Can I get to power plant XL Gamma and power circle? How far are we? It's one system away. Should be able to do this. Where's the damn gate? Need the east gate there? Okay, right. We're going to try this. <clears throat> now there's a trick to this. Docking granted. You want to dock at the station that has the mission first. Or you want to dock at the first point you possibly can in the mission first. Save your game, of course. In case you screw it up, you can always reload. Um, but more to the point, it gives you a head start. You just accept the mission and boom, they've already docked and they've already boarded your ship. So all you've got to do is get to your destination and you're good to go. This is worth a good 200,000 credits. This will give us a boost to our income give us some money we need, and we can hopefully <clears throat> do some better trading with this. So, cross your fingers, guys. Let's try this. Successfully docked. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Alright, dude. Oh, it's 168,000 credits. Whatever. Let's do it. Cool. Already got them aboard. That's exactly how it's supposed to work. Mwahaha. So, let's watch that counter and see if we can do this one. Twenty-one minutes to go. Twenty. Oh, we got this, no question. Nineteen minutes. 18, yeah, I don't see a problem here. We should be able to do this pretty easy. 17, hey. Zappy zappy. Wanted to go this way anyway, so, so, uh, so back off, man! Did somebody just blow up? <laughs> Did we telefrag somebody? Solar power plant. A docking granted. Autopilot. You are talking. Whoa! Wish I had a bunch of those. That's uh, that's some pretty good money there. But oh well. Silicon mine. M beta. Four million credits is pretty damn good, no matter what your ranking is. Just in time. This is what we need. Do you want now, see, this mission's impossible right now, given our c 
configuration, but it's declared average instead of very hard. But, eh, whatever. You can't trust the difficulty level described by the missions, uh, the mission briefings. They are almost arbitrary. They're based on time and distance, I think, and they don't take into consideration your ship's config. 12 minutes to spare, 11 minutes to spare, and we got this. Successfully docked. Oh yeah, mission completed. Incoming message. You have gained recognition. Cool. This means we have pleased somebody. Excellent. Well, that's a good way to show how to do a mission right. Yay! 170,000 credits. ka -ching. I don't suppose this station has any... Uh... Hey. Uh, no, that's a really shitty price. <laughs> All right. So let's get back on this whole trade thing, since that's kind of the point of this walkthrough, or this guide. Silicon mine, M beta. Nope, you are not loaded fully. You don't have any good stuff. Silicon really, whatever we're whatever M we're looking for alpha. for any of these, um, the cattle ranches or the ore mines, any of them, we want to see that their chief, pro uh, what is it, their uh, produce, whatever they produce, um, is fully stocked because that'll that'll produce the lowest price. There, fifty. Holy crap, that's a good price for ore. Let's head over there. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. <laughs> sure looks like we're not headed towards that... ore mine. Wait a minute, where the hell is this ore mine? Oh. Duh. Okay, never mind. Just taking a wide, slow approach, just like they always do. Stupid autopilot. Or Buy it all! On behalf of our president and senator, the art or connection to local trading network is Huzzah! You are being promoted. <laughs> We're a dealer. Come to me for all of your druggy needs. Okay, now we've got a full tank of ore. Now, who the hell wants to buy some of this from us? Let's see. Not going to be anybody in this system. Let's head east and see what's over there, see who's buying. Of course we're near the west gate, naturally. You know what, that's going to be faster. Let's go over to Three Worlds again and see if anybody wants to buy some ore. Whoa, rocks. Big, chunky rocks. The kind that put holes in ships. I don't want to be a pancake. Alright, guys. I got a belly full of ore. Who's going to take it? Ore collector, neat. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, I don't think these guys use ore. They do not. So they are no good to us. Let's head south. I always pick the sectors with the lousy music to stay quiet in, don't I?
Okay. Somebody here. You should use ore. Ooh, he's paying 61. Oh, he's full though. Damn. Well, that sucks. Yeah, there's got to be more. We'll keep flying. We'll head south again. Because we already know what's in Heron's Nebula. Did we get anything else added? We did. Ooh, he's paying a decent price for ore. Okay, that's our best bet so far. Let's go fly over that way. Oh, no, let's check him too. Autopilot activated. Nope, he doesn't use ore. <clears throat> Alright, that's our best shot so far. We'll get over to him here, make some good money. This won't be the best trade in the game, but it'll be pretty good anyway. Don't get winged by Babylon 5! Alright, let's see what happens. Wait. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, oh. the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local. Two hundred forty thousand credits. Damn, that was uh, not a bad trade. All right. Oh, cool. That actually made some good money. Now we have two hundred forty thousand total. Yeah, not bad. Well, I think we should call it quits here for this installment. I don't know how badly out of sync the audio is yet until I play this back. Uh, but in the next installment, we'll continue exploring Argon space a bit further, uh, flesh out our map some more, do some more trades, build up our resources. I'm going to start slowly venturing towards Paranid territory <clears throat> so we can acquire ourselves a... Come on, brain, work with me. Docking computer. We'll also head towards... Uh, TerraCorp headquarters and get a jump drive for the ship, and that'll make a lot of navigation much quicker. So, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Keep the feedback coming. I appreciate all of it, and thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.